It's the truth, he meant the future, you know Story at six, a woman who worked in a Milwaukee public school is accused of having an intimate relationship with a 16-year-old student and letting him use her gun in a drive-by shooting. This one is a Saria sale and is live at Milwaukee County Jail tonight where 30-year-old Oshai Williams is being held on several charges. Saria investigators say the student told them this relationship went on for months. Christian Patrick, according to the criminal complaint, Williams met the 16 year old student at Marshall High School. He says she taught him Spanish. They started hanging out after school and one thing led to another. Investigators say this woman, 30 year old Oshai Williams, worked here at Marshall High School where she met a 16 year old boy and they became romantically involved. According to the criminal complaint, investigators discovered the relationship while investigating a drive-by shooting on February 1st at 27th an hour. We went to Checkers, got something to eat, then shots just came out of nowhere. It just would not stop. It was just going all through my house. Like, I had to get on top of my kids. In the, the woman who lived in that home, too shaken up to go on camera, she still does not know why someone randomly fired into her house. You've never heard of these people? Never in my life. Never. According to the criminal complaint, Williams told Milwaukee police the 16-year-old boy got a phone call she thought was a taunt about shots being fired into her own home a few days earlier. The boy told her to drive to 28th an hour. When they got there, he pulled her loaded Glock out of her purse and started shooting out the passenger window. Then it finally stopped. God gave me strength to run outside to say stop. Wrong house or what? During that investigation, a Bureau of Child Welfare official interviewed the 16 year old. He told them he and William started hanging out after school at her house. He said the relationship turned intimate and they had been dating several months. And Saria, how is the district responding tonight? Kristen, MPS tells me she was never an employee of the Milwaukee Public School District. She was a contract worker on the MPS website. She is still listed as an elevated Spanish classroom coach at Marshall High School. All right, Saria Sandlin reporting live in Milwaukee. Thank you. Mo, these queens are something else. D joint, stay on the news. So you got this woman who is supposed to be a Basically, teacher helper, one of them aides in the school, and instead of doing her job, she's out here sleeping with a student. These hoes, the main ones calling some man a creep, calling some man a predator. But when you start diving into shit, you will start realizing these women are sleeping with these students damn near more than the male teachers, right? Because you let society tell it, uh, women are more trustworthy around kids than men. This is why most teachers are women, right? When you go see elementary schools, when you go to see kids' teachers, it's usually mostly women. I'm sure women ain't going to harm these kids. This is what society says. But time after time, you see these teachers sleeping with these students. But this woman didn't leave it there. That wasn't enough. Sleeping with the student wasn't enough. This bitch... Help this nigga do a drive-by. That's these queens for you. Violent as a motherfucker. They down with the get down. They in these streets. I told you, they be walking around with guns. So you're out here sleeping with this student. 16-year-old. A whole 16-year-old. We have seen this time after time after time. Time after time after time. And a lot of times, these teachers get a slap on the wrist, right? When the male teacher does it, he gets put under the jail. When a female teacher does it, she get probation. The boy got to pay child support now. So this woman was sleeping with this student for months. He said, yeah, 
uh, we talked. Then we started talking outside of school, which is already inappropriate. Why is you talking to a student outside of school? Why does a 16-year-old student got your number? She's over there uh, uh, in that picture, in that uh, photo lineup picture, mugshot joint, lips ashy as a motherfucker, ashy lip, crusty lip hoe. Over there in the lineup, or I mean the mug shot, old predator ass hoe, running around here, sleeping with this young boy, so stupid that she she give this nigga her gun. That's these hoes. They don't defuse the situation. They participate in the situation. You know, like these mama to go tell their kids to. Go back out there and fight. Go out there and shoot them up. Don't be no bitch ass nigga. Don't be no hoe ass nigga. This is why when you look at these rappers mamas, look how they be moving. Have you seen NBA Young Boys mom? You see FBG Ducks mom? You see these niggas mamas? Mamas ratchet like a motherfucker. Some of these niggas mama more gangster than them. Gangsta mamas. I believe you had Polo G mom basically getting into it with his sister. They over here fighting and shit. The mama don't pull the gun out on the daughter. Pull the gun out on the daughter. Like Polo G mama stay getting into it with him. To a point where I believe he basically out here disowning his mama, right? Because she, she want to fight all the time. But this woman... Help this young man do a drive-by. You out here fucking students and committing crimes with them. Women are such nice people, especially these queens. These queens have so uh, uh, so much character with them. Use her gun. She's sleeping with this little boy. Little boy in her car. She driving. You, you the getaway driver. These are these are the type of joints raising children. And then you look at what's going on in the black community, and you want to talk about the, the, the gang members, the drug dealers, the people committing crimes when it starts at home. You got to start looking at the household that these niggas is coming out of. There are mamas like this. You driving with this young man, giving him your gun to shoot somebody house up. Not caring who's in the in the house. I believe those that's one of the most cowardly acts out here in these streets. Niggas who shoot up houses. You a fucking coward, my nigga. Because you're shooting up a house. You, you you don't know who you shooting. Innocent people in there. You got beef with whoever you got beef with, but you want to shoot up a house. You can shoot a child. You can shoot somebody's grandma, somebody's grandfather. Innocent people that ain't got nothing to do with whatever you got going on. That's the cowardly move, you ask me. But instead of this woman being an adult, because, you know, an adult will uh, try to help the kid, Try to make the kid, you know, do the right thing. He might be mad. He might he might think that, you know, uh, he needs to shoot something up. He needs to act violent. He, he's 16, right? I keep telling y'all, these, these, these young niggas, they killing at 16, 17. You can't tell them nothing, right? Those are the most dangerous motherfuckers. In the hood, a young nigga who don't know nothing, who don't care for nothing, who ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't got no kids to worry about. Uh, that if he goes to jail, he ain't going to see. He's actually trying to build his reputation, right? He's trying to, you know, make his name be known. He want to let niggas know, yeah, I ain't no bitch. I'm going to shoot a nigga up. Woo, woo. So he, he got whatever he got going on. This teacher fucking them, 
fucking a whole 16 year old. That's these queens. That's you hoes. You know, you, you, you fuck anybody. You fuck a woman, a 16 year old, a 90 year old. Yeah, th that's y'all. You suck a 95 year old dick and a 16 year old dick. That's how trifling these hoes is, right? And you lick pussy. That's how trifling you is. Not only is you doing that, which is a crime in itself, you ain't leave it at that. You're driving this young man around to go shoot up a house with your gun. With your gun. You know you going down. You know you going down. I believe they, they probably uh, charged her with attempt murder too. Because that's attempt murder. And whole time, the people that was in there, they didn't even know what's going on. In, in Milwaukee, they, they off the chain out. They call it Kilwaukee. They off the chain out there. They off the chain out there. I believe Milwaukee, uh, that's like the uh, car theft capital out there, like, they, they, they got them kill boys out there, right? Like, these niggas be stealing cars and just, like, going on high-speed chases, crashing, just out of control. I mean, the Midwest, man, they, they, they be getting down out there. But I believe it goes out the Midwest. It goes St. Louis, Detroit. Uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, Cleveland, Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? Those are basically the worst cities out mil I mean out uh the Midwest, right? But they be off the chains out that chain out the joint, man. It's ridiculous that you got these women who are supposed to be the ones they trust with students, right? Like I already said. Women be the main ones working with students. Women be the main ones in these schools. They be the main ones getting hired. And be the main ones sleeping with these students. Lady, you know you did wrong. And, and well, I believe she probably going, she going to prison. Now, if it was just, if it was just the, you know, uh, her sleeping with the student, a lot of times when it's these women doing shit like that, they get away with it. They, they, they get to come to court and, and, and cry and play victim, right? They get to come to court and, 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 and say that they got mental issues. They, 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 they hurt and they bipolar. They always got some excuse for why they did what they did so they don't get held accountable for their actions because women don't get held accountable, right? Because it seems like to me these hoes are committing crimes at an alarming rate, but yet they're not going to jail at the same rate as the crimes they are committing. Look at how much black women be fighting in these streets. Look at how much they be uh, acting a fool in public. But when you look at the statistics, Becky's locked up more than black women. Black, black women are not the highest uh, rate of women who are in jail. That's actually white w women. See, see, see how that works? How they always talking? Oh, white supremacy. We are oppressed. Black women are so oppressed that they cause the most troubles in these streets, but yet white women are locked up at a higher percent. Not that there's more white women locked up because there are more white women in America. No. How, the jails is more filled with, it's filled more with white women at a higher percent than black women. That's these queens. Because they're always getting a slap on the wrist. Because they're too busy trying to lock a nigga up. Now, how many times the police done kicking a nigga dog? These hoes was right there with that nigga, helping them bag shit up, moving to work with them, in the mix with them. They take the nigga to jail and leave her ass right there. Leave her ass right there. That's why the hood is filled with women and children, queens and children. 
running around here helping do drive-bys and shit. Literally participating in the criminal behavior. Letting that man use her gun. Her gun. Driving him to the uh, uh, house to go shoot up. I'm, I keep telling y'all, these hoes are part of the problem. Part of the problem. Creating the thugs. Raising them. Because I believe anytime you got teenage kids acting out, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I got, I got to take a hard look at the parents. Now, when there's a 30-year-old, you a 30-year-old nigga, you out here gang banging and, and, and shooting up shit and still acting a certain way, I believe... That's kind of on you at that point, nigga. You 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 old enough to know right and wrong, right? And and you you gotta wash your hands with that. As a parent, is like, nigga, you you you're thirty out here. You grown, grown, right? But when you're seeing children doing the things they're doing, you're seeing little girls acting the way they're acting, acting like hoes, acting ratchet. You're seeing teenage boys. Acting the way they're acting. I got to take a look at the parent. Like, what are you doing? We like to call out the rappers. But to be real, the rappers ain't got nothing to do with what you allow your child to listen to. What you allow your child to be influenced by. Okay? Sexy Red can make all the songs she want, but the problem is you got your 12-year-old listening to Sexy Red. Why is your 11-year-old shaking ass to Sexy Red? Huh? Why is your 15-year-old running around here uh, uh, trying to be a gangster, listening to NBA Young Boy, and trying to follow in his fo footsteps? It's all up to the parents. To watch their children and watch what they're listening to, watch what they're doing, watch how they're moving, watch how they're acting, watch who they're trying to emulate. You would think that's what parents would do, right? But it seems like the, the, these hoes be helping their kids be like that, participating in the behavior. Because why is it you got a whole adult sleeping with a child and helping him commit crimes? Sleeping with him wasn't enough. You helping this nigga commit a crime to shoot something up, not just commit any crime, to go shoot up somebody's house. I believe this should give her more time than a little boy. And what's crazy is this little boy going to be charged as an adult. That's what's crazy. 16 years old, they're going to charge him as an adult, and he's going to go to prison. They better give this woman more time to, than this little boy. I don't give a fuck if he was the one to pull the trigger. Number one, he's a minor, and she drove and gave him her gun, and she's an adult. At least just as, a mu just as, as much time as him, the same amount of time. But these queens is something else, man. They stay in the mix. They're always on the news. They're always up to no good. Running around talking about protect black women. You out here helping little kids shoot up houses, but talking about protect black women. The nerve of these hoes. The mean motherfucker causing trouble in the streets talking about protect them. I'm out.